Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadjax, and today I'm going to be showing you how to control the music on your Mac directly from the notification center on your iOS device. For this guide, we'll be using an application called Today Remote. You have to download the application on both your iOS device and your Mac. So here you can see that I've downloaded Today Remote on the Mac. I'm going to move it over to Applications. Once you open it, there's no interface to the application. It'll actually just exist in your menu bar as an icon. So if I tap on it, you can see devices that are connected to it. You can check for updates. You can disconnect all of your devices and you can also quit the application overall. All right, so the next thing you need to do is you need to download Today Remote on your iOS device. So here it is. And now I'm going to connect the Mac to my iPhone. So I'm going to tap on Add Device. Before you do that, make sure that both devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to tap on Add Device. And here you can see the MacBook Pro that I want to connect to. So I'm going to tap on Request. In the back, you can see a pop-up window. I'm going to tap Accept on there. And now you can see that the two devices are connected. So the next thing you do now is scroll down to pull up the notification center, tap on edit, and here you can see today remote, so we're going to add it as a widget. I'm going to move it up here. And now you can see that I'm connected to my iTunes on the Mac. So I'm going to open up iTunes. In the back there you can see the iTunes is open, so if I tap on play here, here you can see controls to change the volume to skip backwards and forwards between tracks and obviously play and pause the song. In the free version of this, you'll only be able to control the music on iTunes, but if you pay $1.99, which is an in-app purchase, you'll also be able to control music from Spotify, radio, and a few other applications. All right, well, that's it, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Gadget Hacks. All right, thanks, guys.